It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm at the centre of Hamburg today. There's the Hamburg Town Hall behind me. Uh, we've got the probably part of the River Ebe flowing through the centre. Um, probably the busiest part of Hamburg and probably the busiest place that I've ever done a beer review. Literally everyone's looking around. But you've got to take your opportunities in life, I think. I want a great opportunity to drink a beer that was, well, this is Hamburg's famous beer. This is Holston. Holston Pilsner, 4.8% ABV, brewed in this famous town, in this famous city, I should say. 500 ml can, 4.8% ABV. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Oh. Bit of carbonation from the walk in the rucksack on the way here. Amazing what um, pouring a beer in public can do. Um, in terms of drawing people's attention, especially when you put a camera on a tripod, literally. We're on this lovely bridge here and everybody who's walking past is like having a good gaze and smiling, smiling. I think they'd appreciate me reviewing the famous beer of, of, of Hamburg in Germany. So. Beer in the glass, we've got a four finger white head, um, good levels of carbonation. Clear, clear looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Somebody just took a picture. <laughs> smells really good, really clean, really crisp. It smells a very, very different beer than the Holston pills we get in the UK. And of course, being brewed in Hamburg, this haven't had to travel very far. It's not had to travel very far at all. It's still within the, the, the region of Hamburg where it's brewed. It's not brewed in the city centre anymore. We actually walk past the, the old brewery. We walk through the old brewery um, that was based in the city centre. But like a lot of uh, big brewing... Uh, nations, uh, countries and, uh, and cities, that's what I was looking for, cities. A lot of them move their breweries out of the cities now. On the top of my head I think the only real big brewing towns left are Shepherd Neem and Green King. If you go to those towns they still have their original breweries and they're the beating heart of the towns I tell you. Okay so, clean crisp aroma dry and spicy. I'm hoping nobody throws a coke at me. <laughs> Last time I've done a review, this, this, with so many people about, somebody threw a coke at me. Right, let's dive in. Cheers. completely different beer to the beer we get in the UK. This is a far superior product that here in Germany. It's much cleaner, it's much crisper, there's better flavours. And it's a different style can as well. If I show you the can, it's a, it, it, it's a silver can here. You've got that kind of horse, man on his horse there in, in the armor. Uh, the brewery dates back to 1879, uh, exactly 100 years before I was born. Morning. What a friendly bunch. What a friendly bunch of people. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's smiling. They really are. <laughs> Cleaner, crisper, just really, really nice. Really, really good quality beer. Much, much different to the beer we get in the UK. Oh man, I think the police are coming. No, they're not. 
No, they're not. They're just walking away. Fair enough. Fair enough. They're parking wardens. They're not police. They're parking wardens. And I, I haven't got my car with me today. The stuff we get in the UK, I think it's only 3.5% ABV, or between 3.5 and 4% ABV. Uh, this is a, a far superior product, I know I keep mentioning this, um, but it's really tasty. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases lots of that flavour. Just quite happy really, uh, to be having a look at uh, some of these fantastic buildings and, and, and monuments in, in the distance. Lots of, if I move the camera down the side here, there's lots of restaurants down the side. I'm going to show you actually, we're on the, we're actually on the bridge. So we're going to spin round and I'm going to show you the, the you know, the people that are being very kind to me today and, and not throwing cokes around. So the river extends, the bridge is kind of like a massive bridge and it kind of extends across the road there. Um, there's also a great big church over here where the glass is. Yes, yeah, generally there's a 360 view. It's generally quite a nice, uh, quite a nice area. It really is. I think I picked the perfect spot, you know, to do this, uh, to do this beer review today. I could drink a ton of this. I could drink an absolute ton of this. Just keep going, keep drinking, keep enjoying it. Um, it's about midday. It's actually quarter past twelve midday. So, um, I, I'm, well, I've started now. So I, 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 I'm going to carry on. I'm going to carry on drinking on this this lovely sunny Thursday afternoon in in Hamburg in Germany. Uh, just to check the ingredients, um, it will conform to the Reich High Shabbat, the German Purity Law. So if I can translate this, uh, hops, malt, yeast and water. Holston Pills. Okay, so just to wrap this up then, just to wrap this review up. Um, beautiful looking beer. Beautiful looking beer. Fantastic quality to it. Let's have to move out of the way of the town hall. Clean, crisp, refreshing. I'm going to drink a ton of this today. I'm going to drink an absolute ton of this today. Until I got a vice, I got a vice beer tasting at four o'clock, somewhere in the city. We'll have a look at the map later on, but that's that's going to be my um, my next official adventure is a, is a vice beer tasting. But thanks for watching. I'm going to rate this beer now. I like it enough. It's really good. It's a really good pilsner. And I've always said in my beer reviews. If you drink a beer with a, where it's produced and, and you, you're kind of in the moment, um, you're, you're part of the city, you're drinking in, in, in the city where the beer is produced, the beer always tastes so much better. So I'd like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!